What's up, Nerf Nation? Welcome back to the CJ Nerf Channel. Yo, I'm out of ammo. Notice how my gun didn't hit the ground? Yeah, you like that. Here's a trick. Protect your blasters. Don't scratch your new paint job. Get a bandolier. They're beautiful. They work great, as you can see. You don't have to worry about dropping your stuff on the ground, possibly breaking it. When you're ready to go, boom, right up, drop it. Switch out your kits, everything. Just switch them out real fast. Never have to worry about a thing. Boom, boom, boom. You run out of ammo, you're still taking fire, boom. Switch to your pistols. Switch to your other pistol. You could dual wield while not dropping your primary. It's a beautiful thing. Let's talk a little bit about bandoliers today, shall we? Alright, so why don't we take a look at one of these and uh, give it sort of like a mini review here. As you can see, metal clips that are on swivel hooks. So no matter which way this turns, the blaster will just be, it'll be okay. It's got a very, very durable uh, knitted nylon, it looks like, with stitched in elastic to hold the clips as well as separate single darts um, really really well made and I'm very pleased with it these four that I have loose I actually purchased used off of eBay um, and they came perfect um, not even a stain on them so whoever had these really took good care of them and then it was a win-win because he got rid of them and I got them for a great price so I was very pleased with it I did manage to find one in the box um, in its original packaging that I purchased not, it wasn't too bad of a price. Got this on Amazon. I don't even know if it's still on there anymore, uh, but I can check that for you guys. Uh, they also have them in the blue and black, which I have three of those. Um, and I'm going to use those for assorted blasters. You guys know I have tons of stripes and everything else, so I'll find something to do with them. The adjustment on these is very easy. You just uh, pick up on the buckle and slide it, and you make it tighter. Now, if you want to go the other way, of course, you just loosen it, pull up a little bit, and boom, you can make it really, really long. So um, the quality of this product is phenomenal and is well worth 15 or 16 bucks if you're just looking to get something that you can use for multi-purposes. Now, I had it hooked up with a strife, as you saw, and it was very comfortable. Um, the clips were very nice. I don't know if I would put, maybe, I'd put a 10 or maybe a 12. I don't know if I'd stick an 18 round uh, stick mag uh, on this and have that drape over my side, I don't think that would be very comfortable with that 18 round clip, you know, pressing against my chest in all weird ways. Because when you pull up on this, you know, the harness kind of slides this way. So for me, you know, when it's sitting here and you pull up, boom, good to go. Really cool, really pleased with it. Um, I just threw it on a quick put together strife that I had. Uh, so um, really like it with the 6 round. I think the 10 round would be pretty cool too. Or maybe a 12, but I really wouldn't stretch it too much further than that. Um, it's also perfect for the rough cut. And the reason also being is because you can actually load loose starts. So, you know, you take your shots and then get behind cover. And when it's safe and you're not taking fire, you can go ahead and reload. So this basically is a very cool setup, I think, for the rough cut. Um, and, you know, very easy to use. I love the way it just hangs here. Now, if you're going to be running a lot, then, you know, it may bang around a little bit. But still, it's a lot better than when you run out of ammo and you're in a panic mode, throwing your blaster on the floor, possibly scratching the paint, and doing everything else. Now, as far as weight goes, this thing will hold basically a fully set up demolisher. So, you guys know that one. It's pretty front heavy, this blaster. So, uh, still, no problems. Sorry, I shortened it a little bit to show you. And, uh, you know, really cool. I like it. And I got no problems. I'm very pleased with this product. Uh, now, if you don't want to spend the 14, 15, 16 bucks that these are to get these, you know, you can always run it to your mom's basement. And, you know, that old bag she doesn't use for work anymore, or your father's gym bag that he doesn't really take out anymore because he doesn't work out <laughs> now that he's married. You can always grab one of the straps off of that. As you see, I got two black straps that are just from those type of side, uh, those type of bags. Now they loosen and, and grow, but these are probably gonna be more of a smaller because they don't really extend any further than this. So for these two stripes, it's perfect. It's gonna be for a littler kid, and these ones will be perfect for an adult of my size or younger. Um, so would I say buy? I would absolutely say buy. Um, it's definitely worth the money. The blue ones are definitely going on Amazon sale right now for about $16. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested, um, I don't think you can go wrong. That's my personal opinion, but 
then again, you know, you invest a lot of money into this hobby. So the one thing you want to do is protect your investment. So I think this is a great way to go. And especially if you paint your own blasters, who wants to throw your blaster on the ground and possibly scratch it if you could just dangle it on your side. So there you guys have it. And I'll see you guys on Thursday for the subscriber request video of the week. And um, I got a special treat for you guys on Saturday. And don't forget, I am running my subscriber uh, CJ Nerf Challenge. And yes, since I released it on Saturday, we've gone up quite a bit, but we still got a long way to go if you guys want to reach the first prize level. So spread the word, t talk to your friends, tell them about me, tell them about my channel if you guys want to get this thing off the ground. And uh, other than that, uh, look forward to seeing you guys next time on the CJ Nerf Channel.